All right, folks. Got this thing pulled apart. Chrome come off a lot easier than I expected to. Managed to uh, save the clips on the back. We'll see how it polishes out. And this is the old cover. Looks pretty rough. I'm hoping maybe it's gonna sand up pretty good. Like I said, this I'm using a uh, truck bed liner coat over it, and I may go ahead and put that chrome back. I think it may look may look a little make look pretty good that way. Uh, this one here is gonna be a little more difficult because it's gonna be hard to see in this photo or video. I'm sorry. But, uh, there's some uh, rust right here. Oop. Rust right here. Yeah, all the way through. And I've got a couple little bits of sheet metal laying around. A little inexpensive, cheap uh, wire welder. Uh, maybe I can get it welded up. And I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do this one first, or do this one first, and then keep this one like it is, so we can lay it side by side and compare them and tell me what you think. And maybe they'll turn out pretty good. If it don't turn out like I want it to, then you won't ever see it. So. Well, here's sanding down a, a bit. Should work. Got some uh, most of the heavy rust and stuff off of it. I'll, uh, got some rust fix sprayed on it. I'm not sure how well it's showing up in this light because it is overcast, and I am outside the shop and uh, trying to do multiple things at one time. Working on the Volkswagen too. Oh, this is a Volkswagen, but those are my headlights that we're going to put into the vehicle. I'm going to give y'all a walk around. So got the got to fix my tiger stripes up here on the on the roof. A little tough though right now. And a few other little spots I hope I can take. Get that out. But, uh, still excited, super excited to get it out, out of the shop and get the motor engine back in it. And so this is the hood. I can't remember if I should touch on y'all this before, but this thing was tiger strapped up like the uh, roof was real bad, and I went over it and scuffed it down and. Resprayed it with a different different gun with a siphon gun, an older siphon gun that I have. I'm probably at a well more pressure and just a, a wider fan too. It seemed to work out pretty well. Those are the seats. Got to do some work on them. And uh, hey, my source of heat for the shop. And there's the exhaust. I'm gonna try to do, save it. Like I said, I'm, I don't have a whole lot of money. Try to do a lot of this on a budget, and uh, eventually I'll uh, have her done. I'm hoping here soon to have her done. So uh, we're about to. We'll put on a couple of coats of primer. This right here, and uh, put this set up. It takes a little bit for this to dry, I believe. I don't use it very often. It's the, the rust fix, and it uh. Usually it'll turn black where all the rust is, it neutralizes it. I haven't done the back side, I'm gonna have to get a steel brush a hold of it. And uh, I said, one step at a time. Still debating whether or not to try to knock this little dent out here. So, like I said, it's bed liner material so I can kind of build it up where I need to. And a couple more steps and we'll be done. Alright, here we are with the running boards. I thought I was going to be able to cheat the system, but nope. The uh, big old holes that's in it still show up really, really bad. I don't know how many coats I put on it. I was hoping maybe I could do something with it without having to put a lot of effort into it, but you reap what you sow, they say. So. So now I'm going to have to strip all this off and go back over it again and put a little body filter in. And, uh, that is what it is. Live and we learn and we learn and we live. But, 
They do look pretty cool when I'm done with it, though. I'm not sure about the shiny, shiny. I might have to switch over to a different uh, truck bed liner. Let's go for a round two on this here. Get her all the bed liner stripped off of it. I'm gonna have to put some etching primer on it. Just go around and primer. Just probably do a primer filler. Probably want to do a filler on it because I'm gonna. smoother out some body filler which is probably gonna be easier than trying to go through and do anything else which means it's gonna be a boatload of sanding unfortunately and probably more work than what's necessary in life but I have the materials here that I've had and uh, beats buying a new set of running boards so like I said something different I'm sure there's somebody there's done this before and Hopefully I had a good results. Maybe I can duplicate that.